Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video we're going to talk about snow blowers that were at GAE Expo this year and a few other snow products that caught my eye. Over the years uh, snow blowers at GAE has evolved. Um, some companies years ago used to bring everything they had. Today pretty much they only bring what they what's new, uh, what they want to promote, and what's very popular. So there's not a lot of snowblowers this year. Um, up front here, Aaron's has a lot of new stuff, Toro has a little bit, and no one else really has anything new. Though I will show you a few other snowblowers. So let's get started. First up is Husqvarna. Husqvarna only brought this one ST430T along. The machine itself hasn't changed, but the cabling, the way they route the cabling from the dash down, it, they've really improved that. It's not near as messy as the original one that I'm still using around here. Honda brought along two examples of their snow blowers, a tracked unit and a wheeled unit. There has been um, information out there that Honda ha has not really made snow blowers for a year. Uh, nobody ever said why, you know, if they had too much uh, inventory sitting around the country or if they just decided to hold off on them. But uh, I did talk to the rep and they are making the snow blowers again, but, the, uh, but they're very limited in how many they're making. So if you want a Honda snow blower, I would get to a dealer and get your name in because there may be a uh, couple months or longer wait to get a new one right now. I forgot to get a picture of it but DR Power was showing off an electric snow thrower that was using these suitcase batteries as shown in, in this uh, zero turn. Um, other than that, uh, they had nothing in the booth. I decided to go looking uh, and it looks like DR Power itself has, and Generac have gotten back out of the snowblower market again. That's fine. Uh, the products that they that they were selling were made in China. Uh, they weren't American made, so uh, we'll see if they come back in a couple years with something better. Cub Cadet did not bring any snowblowers at all this year. Um, other manuf other MTD brands like Troybilt and Craftsman, or and, and so forth. They never um, come to the show anyway, so you never get to see anything there. Um, Stanley Black & Decker now has purchased MTD, so you may be seeing snowblowers come under some different names, such as DeWalt or Hustler. Uh, we'll have to see what comes out of this in the next few years. Toro revised the PowerMax and the PowerMax HD lines last year. Um, so this year they were just showing off the 24 and 26 inch electric two-stage machines. By the way, I do like these a lot. If you're starting to get into the 60 volt line of Toro, uh, these take the same battery as your handheld equipment. Auric has been working on this little snow pusher uh, for a few years now and uh, this is the first time that I've seen one in in real life. Um, it uses a 36 inch blade and you can get wings for it to make it a little wider. Uh, it'll run up to five miles per hour and uh, it's tracked so it has plenty of plenty of traction. Um, it's handy. It's a cute. It's a, if you have a lot of sidewalk and stuff like that to clear, 
I think it's a real viable alternative for uh, a professional guy, but it is $8,500, so it's probably not something that you'll want to buy for your typical residential driveway. I'll let the video run here just a little bit so you can uh, see how it works. And now for errands. While everyone else in the industry over the last year has been focusing on building a electric lawnmowers, autonomous lawnmowers, robotic lawnmowers, hill climbing lawnmowers, and all that other stuff, errands has been building the products that you've been asking for and redesigning the existing products with the stuff that, you, that you've been asking for for the last couple of years. Number one, they now have new LED lighting on the Deluxe Series and higher for all the two-stage snow throwers. Better yet, that light that they put on the new machines, you can take and install in your older Aaron's Deluxe and uh, Platinum and Pro Series. Just head over to your local Aaron's dealer and he'll get one for you. Second, Aaron's developed four special edition snow throwers. Uh, these snow throwers have the stuff that you've really been asking for over the years. Uh, the first one is called the Kraken. It's a 32 inch Hydro EFI Rapid Track. It features an electronic or electric actuator to raise and lower the track on the machine for the dig in and the track and the wheel mode. It has a thumb controlled joist electric chute. So the joystick is right by your thumb. It's real small and easy to use. Well, it's large enough that you can use it with your gloved hand, of course, but it's right there. Uh, they have 360 degree LED lighting on this machine. So front sides, um, 21 inch LED light bar up front. Uh, it even has an LED on the chute so you can see where you're throwing your snow in the middle of the night. Auto turn of course, 14 inch impeller of course, uh, hydrostatic drive, Big reinforced hand, steel handlebars, 1.84 gallon gas tank, and 12 volt electric start. So you don't need to plug it in if you want to use electric start anymore. Just turn the key and off you go. And finally, it uses the Aaron's 420cc uh, AX EFI engine. So it'll start no matter what. The Great Lakes Edition features EFI, front light bar, and electric chute control. Electric start, of course, all the normal features that you get with a platinum machine. The 28 inch Alpine Edition is a hydro EFI, uses the 420cc Aaron's AX motor. Um, it has premium features like the LED light bar, headlight, hand warmers, electric chute control, and commercial grade skid shoes. And the Mountaineering Special Edition has some features you haven't seen on an Aaron's before. Uh, number one, 12 volt battery key start. Uh, six inch LED light bar up front plus the new LED light 1.84 gallon fuel capacity EFI ignition Thumb joystick electric shoe control and of course the rapid track 
if you have to work in high altitudes, this is definitely a machine to look at because uh, it can handle anything that uh, winter throws at it. And finally, Aaron uh, has introduced the Mammoth Stand-On Snow Machine. This is a do-anything, go-anywhere type uh, snow handler. Uh, it has a brush available. It has a 48-inch blade available. It has a 36-inch or 48-inch snow thrower available. 28-horsepower uh, engine, 10-gallon fuel capacity. 20 gallon onboard brine capacity and it'll do eight miles an hour. Uh, this will easily replace four, five, six uh, people using conventional machines. So, uh, so that's it for snow stuff at GIE Expo for 2021. As things go along this winter, I'll let you know anything else new coming along, if I hear of any. And uh, let me know what you'd like me to do this year. I don't have much new equipment to go over, so um, I'll be glad to talk anything and go over anything else snow. Let me know, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.